Hello guys, it's Grim Dutch here with another video and today the long awaited clue scroll overall and uh, yeah I'm in game right now and this is the reward shop from the uh, overall and uh, loads of things to talk about of course I made a video yesterday talking about this update so go and watch that if you want all of the things that is going to change but uh, right now i'm just going in game and uh, show you some things that is new and some exciting things that i very much like i have over or i had over 27,000 points in the treasure trail uh, shop which is uh, quite a lot i imagine because i've done a lot of cruise scrolls so i bought myself the outfit the uh, globetrotter jacket and such uh, really nice benefits you can find them on the wiki i'm not going to get into everything on detail because uh, well i made a video already about that but uh, let's go into this shop of course first you see is the outfit you also can buy the chargers for the jackets because they work on a reroll basis just like the cruise scroll rerolls actually so it's quite self-explanatory but uh, some very very nice things 150 points for every charge is uh, quite expensive of course i have loads of points but it is quite expensive uh, for me as well because i can't use all of them but uh, yeah blue the clue dog well it's just a pet if you want that you can buy that i wouldn't recommend buying that uh, right now also the titles uh, maybe i will buy one of them but for now i'm just going to spend my money or my points on this tab i think you can buy the clue scroll for now on uh, quite a bit of a controversy right here because i don't know if it's good that you can buy those clue scrolls you can buy master clues only elite hearts medium and easy clues as you see right here and you can also buy the re-rolls which is very very nice of course but uh, yeah 50 points for a heart uh, treasure trail so i can buy around 400 and 40 ish hard clue scrolls from this amount of points i'm not going to do that of course because hard clue scrolls are easy to get but uh, if you want to camp clue scrolls and you have done some uh, clue scrolls in the past and you have some points you could just buy them and do them all at once it's really nice of course these stackables are right here now uh, these stackable clue scrolls they are called unsealed clue scrolls or uh, sealed clue scrolls if you don't have them active and when you open them it's just like a normal one but uh, this is how it looks like if they are uh, not open so the last step of the reward shop is the skipping tickets uh, you have a new puzzle i will show you that in a second or if i can get the master clue running but uh, i don't know I've, i haven't looked at the master clue but uh, these steps are very difficult for me to uh, figure out of course because nobody knows how to do them also there are some new puzzles so alt one uh, you can't use that for a couple of days at least because there are loads of new things but uh, you can buy all these skipping tickets there are two new tiers of uh, skipping or puzzles the uh, loot box puzzle and the tower puzzle i've seen some on twitch uh, you can find them there uh, loads of streamers are doing that right now i haven't had one of those puzzles but uh, they are quite challenging uh, at first so we have to see how that goes but I just want to show you quick how the outfit works because it's really a big deal actually because the benefits are quite sufficient. So the Globetrotter uh, backpack has the ability to swap your clue scroll for a new one. If you can't complete that step you can swap that for the same clue scroll and uh, from the same tier and it doesn't affect your uh, progress in that clue scroll so that's very very nice. Then you have the Globetrotter jacket, which is the benefit of teleport directly to your location of your clue scroll, which is quite OP actually. And uh, for scans, I would recommend uh, using them on scans, which are quite difficult, like the Manifos one. Uh, nobody knows where the places are right now where the scan could be, so I would use that for like. Uh, I would use that for those type of blue scrolls and the arms do also have a benefit the arms connect you to your bank allow you to use your teleport scrolls directly from there quite useful but not really because i'll already have my uh, teleports in my inventory so won't be using that at all i think uh, the trousers uh, or the shorts 
give the ability to use the emote for you while doing emote glue scrolls of course quite handy but also not really that great and the boots have the benefit of uh, giving you unlimited run energy for a certain amount of time which is also very nice of course and the outfit has also the benefit of using the items in your hidey holes uh, for the emote cruise call so you don't have to wear the items yourself you can just do the emote and you can complete that clue score and it has some more benefits of the rerolls on your outfit pieces but uh, yeah let's go to the hidey holes and explain that so we are here at one of the hidey holes in the cruise call universe and uh, yeah this is one i already filled so uh, it's a rock basically uh, close to the place where you can do the emote you can make a hidey hole by planks and some nails and you can just put your items in and never take them out if you have the full outfit you don't have to ever take those items out you just stand here and do the emote and you're done so that's pretty self-explanatory and very very handy so one of the things i want to talk about of course is the clue scroll lock uh, it's kind of bug to be honest i think because it only shows the items i have in my bank or gotten in the past six months i think because it doesn't show my shadow dice if you see right here it doesn't show any of the dice uh, and i have the dice i have um, already uh, four shadow dice and two barrels dice i've gotten so far so not showing right here also gilded is for some reason not showing well i have them in my bank so it's kind of bug the uh, treasure trail log but it's very nice to see what items you've gotten and what items you didn't got so uh, yeah the master clues of course is very nice because all of the items are new and uh, yeah you, or most of the items yeah all of them because those dragon masks are also new element rune dragon masks dragon stone masks are very very nice of course the elusive ice die is in here but uh, yeah, very difficult to get that, of course. And uh, yeah, let's talk about the master clues now because uh, not much to talk about the collection lock because it's just out and I didn't fill it up right now. So yeah, the master clue scrolls are all new, of course. I have one right here. Complete the action to solve this clue. I have really no idea how to solve this one, but uh, I will look into that. But the update is out for uh, around two hours right now. So it's all very fresh. And I'll be doing my other best to do most clue scrolls as I can. But uh, as you can expect, I can't do the master clue scrolls this fast. I already did four hard treasure drills. I saved up uh, three of the caskets so far. And I'm going to make a loot from 25 hard clue scrolls in the coming days. So uh, keep an eye on that. Also, I will do that from elite clue scrolls later on. But uh, yeah, for now I won't be showing the loot from those uh, hard clue scrolls. I will be showing my first elite after the update in a second, so keep waiting for that. But uh, yeah, I want to talk about the master clues because the rewards are great. But uh, it's right now very difficult of course with the new puzzles and the new steps. But uh, I want to check this out if this works. And uh, use the globe trailer jacket to teleport to this location of this clue scroll. And see what I need to do because I've absolutely no idea and it doesn't work you have more than one clue scroll in your backpack this will affect will only work with one in progress clue scroll in your backpack at a time all right so just bank that or lead clue scroll and go on and teleport to this location and see what we got to do because i really don't know so let's act activate that the riddle requires ingredients and has no teleport location so that doesn't work so we have to find that some other way and i will do that in a second but uh, right now just see the loot of those elite clue scroll so let's open the elite clue scroll i really want to open more clue scrolls right now i'm just so hyped for the clue scroll overall and i want to open all of the caskets i have but i want to make more videos and i want to make loot from 25 clue scrolls just uh, just a little bit better than uh, showing just three caskets so this is my first elite clue scroll after the overall so let's see if we can get a little bit lucky on this one actually it is the first time i have done a live clue scroll most of the time they are pre-recorded clue scrolls which i commentate on so and this is one i'm doing live right now so yeah hope it 
is a little bit lucky. Imagine if we got something really great. I don't know how to react right then, but let's just say it would be something like 400k or so. Most of the time it's something like that, but uh, yeah, let's see what we are getting in this lit crew scroll. Oh, you found a casket. Let's open that and we got 188k. Well, it's more of the same right now. A uh, little bit changed the uh, reward screen. It's a little bit smaller right now. Don't know if that's a good thing or not, but uh, yeah, no dice and no new items so far. But uh, yeah, I will keep grinding the cruise scrolls all day right now and uh, tomorrow as well, I hope. I have the day off, so I can put a lot of time in those screw scrolls. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video with probably 25 hard treasure tales. Good luck with the clue hunting. Thank you all for watching. Leave the like if you like this video. And we'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.